Hey guys, here's the second part of importing an animated stylized PBR model into a game engine and this time it's Unreal Engine 4. I will create a new blank project, this is Unreal Engine 4.20. I call this Import Torrid, as you know the model is from 3DX. If you're interested in how to create it, the link to his video is added to the description below. Ok, the first thing I do here in this project is to remove some game objects, the chair, the table almost everything and after that I turn the light, the directional light into a real time light and build again the lighting to get rid of these baked shadows. Alright and now we can go ahead and import the turret. First of all I import the textures. I select them in the Windows Explorer and drag them into the content browser and here we get a message that one texture is a normal map, that's fine and then I select these textures and save them. Ok, what do we have? We have an albedo. A metallic map, which is pure white, this means full metallic, a normal map and the roughness. Ok, that's the textures, now I drag in the model, the FBX, which contains the material and an animation. So I drag it in and the FBX importer pops up. I keep the settings as they are, but I check import animations. And that's it, now I press import. And what we get is a material, the skeletal mesh, an animation sequence and a physics asset. Ok, very simple so far. The next thing we have to do is to open the material editor to configure the material. Which basically means to assign the textures. So I double click the material, the material editor is opened. And after that I click on this icon so that I can use the imported mesh to preview the material, but to do this I have to select it in the content browser. So I'm going to arrange this material editor in a way that I can see the content browser and the material editor at the same time. That looks nice and I have my model selected so I can preview it here in the material editor. I remove the default input for the base color and instead I drag in my albedo texture and connect it to the base color slot. Ok, and now I drag in the metallic and connect it to metallic. I oh know, it's very simple. And the next texture is the normal map and, you guessed it, I connect it to normal. And the last one is the roughness to roughness. So that's easy, but easy is good, if it works and it seems to work nicely, as you can see in the preview. So we are almost done, now let's save and apply. And after that I switch back to the main editor and we are going to drag in the animation sequence to the level. It's quite large so I will scale it down 2 steps and I will also rotate it a bit so that we can see those gears when the animation is played. The scene is a bit dark so I will increase the intensity of the directional light and the same I do for the intensity of the skylight. That looks better. And then I go to the post processing volume, which is added to this blank scene template and I turn the temperature to a warmer tone and slightly increase the exposure level. Ok, that looks good to me, now we can start the game and see how this comes out. So guys, I'm quite happy with this. As I said, the link to the process video for creating this model is added to the description below, it is from 3DX, check out his channel. Guys, I hope this video was useful and interesting for you and if this is the case then don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next one. Perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon, this would be awesome and if you have any questions add these to the comments below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching and see you soon.